My name is Laura James and I'm a model at LA Models. This is my second shoot with Kevin and he had kind of mentioned the idea of doing um, a behind the scenes video and this really awesome photo shoot that he had coming up. So um, we decided to work again. Meeting Laura, her personality, what? it really dawned on me that I just wanted to go big. I wanted to do something that really showed off everyone's talent. Showing her in a video and photo format using a ridiculous location, bringing it all together and just making something awesome. My name is Christopher Park, co-produced, co-directed with Kevin, working on Oasis. We wanted a lot of motion, we wanted something edgy. The final product that you see now, it's different than what I thought going in. If you're a creative professional and you go out on set to create some kind of artistic thing and you come out with exactly what you expected, you probably weren't creative enough on set. Uh, we did a lot of experiments, we built a doll week that we used underwater. What's Chris doing here? With a camera and a bag. And it worked. So that was pretty cool. I got involved with the shoot through Kevin. He came to me with this amazing idea, showed me the location, which was phenomenal. He told me about the concept, the colors, that he wanted to do, everything, and I was totally in. Well, I'm gonna try either. Okay. I feel like now we have a direction to work. You never really know once you get there how the day is gonna go, what direction we wanna take it. I came in with probably 20 looks or so, but I think we got in eight or nine, which is good. Do you want me like, to tease the camera at all? My specialty is definitely the more dewy, like you don't really want to see the foundation on the skin, the looking sexy without being distracted by wearing too much makeup look. <laughs> Um, and I definitely got to do that with Laura. We were gonna do some wet hair looks and it's swimsuit, so I wanted to keep the skin really dewy and natural, as if she had just been working out on the beach all day. Like, kind of rosy, a little bit flushed, smoky, sultry. That's the look I was going for. A lot of behind the scenes things you wouldn't actually imagine. Usually, Kevin would say, okay, we're gonna get the shot first and then Chris is gonna come into the video. I like how he's chosen to shoot directly in front of my camera. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Shut up. I think just like Kevin, he has a great um, eye for the creative vision. And also, he makes you feel very comfortable when he's shooting. You know, it's, most of the time he was like right in my face. You have to trust him that it looks okay and that it looks good. He wasn't afraid either to just like get in the water so that he could really get his, his view across, which I think was awesome. One of the reasons why I like working with Kevin is because he and I have very similar attitudes to how to run set. You're gonna be on sets where it's a little more uptight and everybody's very strict about what they do. We like to keep that professionalism. <laughs> Looking quite dapper there, Kevin. <laughs> there are shenanigans on set. Oh, this is awesome. You give me my ball. You give me my ball right now. There was, there was some shoe throwing. Gotta catch a shit. <laughs> we all were working really hard, yet there was no stress. I, don't, I didn't, didn't feel stressed out at all. It was still um, good energy, really lighthearted. When you're in a good atmosphere, a good environment with good people, it helps deliver a really great shot. As a model, you do have to put yourself in awkward positions. Everyone thinks modeling is so easy, but... Okay, whip it. <laughs> most of the time, you're holding these poses that are so not normal in everyday life and so it's like you're almost dancing with the photographer, you're dancing with the videographer. Nice. I have a really great connection with Kevin. I just think he has a really great direction which I love and there's a lot that you know room to bring out your own creative ideas but that also has his own vision and wants the end product to come out the way he kind of sees it so I really like working with him. I was lucky enough to use the Phase One IQ 180, which is an insane camera, at 80 megapixels, so I can zoom in and zoom in to the point that I can see every little detail. 
Photoshop, on the other hand, when you can see every detail, there's things that need to be fixed and you want to stylize it as much as you can. I started pushing the blues, crushing the contrast, until I got to a point that I really feel like complements the, the neutral tones of the styling. There's just so much data in these photos to work with. It was intimidating and a learning process. I'm happy I did it. One thing that I, I really try to do with my style and something that uh, you won't see in a video like Oasis or the stereotypical this is a swimsuit beauty shot it's a, it's a calendar shot I tend to stay away from that kind of stuff I feel like it's a little cliche um, and Kevin does that too I, I think Kevin's photography is not overtly sexual it's not about selling sex it's about selling beauty and I think there's a fine line that we, we had to walk very well here and I, I think we did I